One of the dangers of this week's mudslide and flash flooding in Poudre Canyon, and one of the dangers of the next mudslide and flash flood in Colorado is that they so often happen in remote places, spots where our cell phones don't work. That's part of the appeal of going there. It meant that they had to take a door to door warning approach in Larimer County, and they may have to next time. Here's Mark Salinger. The sound of water used to bring peace. It's where we come to get away from all the city life and the craziness, yes. Now all Susan Bond Philpot can think about is its power. It's overwhelming. You can't even imagine what it used to look like. Black Hollow Road sits buried under much of what the Cameron Peat Fire left behind last summer. Mixed in the middle are homes, memories, and search and rescue crews fear a missing family. Seeing the backhoe on our bridge and the house roofs at our bridge, and it's pretty overwhelming. A woman and two men are still missing after heavy rain caused a flash flood in the burn scar. Susan found out her home was in danger when friends started texting her while she was away from her house. What I saw on the news doesn't even compare to what it is in reality. She found out Thursday her home is still standing. The National Weather Service issued a flash flood warning at 524 p.m. on Tuesday evening. 41 minutes later, the NWS says logs, rocks, and water took over parts of the Poudre Canyon. David Moore with the Larimer County Sheriff's Office says deputies rushed in to tell people to get out. We actually send deputies to every area to knock on doors and, and in this particular case, go to every campsite. When the flash flood warning goes out, it's broadcast immediately on TV, on the National Weather Service website, and through NOAA weather radios that don't require cell phone service. The 911 authority in Larimer County also sent out alerts to every phone in the area through texts and calls. Then when we saw the news reports, um, they had our sign at our bridge that said Black Hollow, and that's how we knew it was our place. Each person found out the danger was coming in a different way. Now Susan hopes time and some hard work will bring peace back to her neighborhood. It's a good sound because it's progress. It takes about an hour driving up this far deep into the canyon, and for most of that time, there's very little cell phone service. That's why it's so important to get those emergency alerts in different ways other than a phone in places as remote as this. For next, I'm Mark Salinger. One final note, the folks in charge of sending emergency alerts in Larimer County said that they have found that sometimes text message alerts will get through even in areas with really spotty cell service. So last year you had the year of fire in Colorado. This year could be the year of mudslides. Another one shut down westbound I-70 at Avon today. And Glenwood Canyon is currently closed again due to the threat of a slide there.